Hello, everybody. Welcome to the weekend. Uh, I'm going to do some final notes and then um, talk about the game last night just for a bit before I get into the game notes. Uh, I don't get too high on Dak Prescott here and I don't drag Dak Prescott here. So I'm not going to get I'm not I'm probably not ever going to get too far like like over here or too far over there with Dak Prescott. If he does well, I'll give him his due. If he makes stupid bonehead interceptions like he did versus his Titans, I'll say that. So I'm going to try to keep it right down the middle with Dak Prescott because I keep saying this over and over and over and over and over for the last, I don't know how many years I've been doing these videos, that we overemphasize the quarterback position. And I was thinking about that when I was watching the game. I had one eye open. I was barely awake. But I was watching the game last night, and I was like, the Green Bay Packers have a quarterback with GOAT potential. You know what I'm saying? He's, he's got all the skills that we think are great with a quarterback, yet they're still struggling. You know, and it's, it's like, you know, if I listen to some of you guys, you know, all we do knew is, is need to have is Aaron Rodgers back there and everything's fixed. And you forget that we had Tony Romo had as much arm talent as I've ever seen. His arm was beautiful. <laughs> he could do so many things, but we never put the right things around Tony Romo at the right time. So you never got Tony Romo to the potential where he, he could have and should have went. So that, this is why I don't put too much in the quarterback because there's so much around it that makes that quarterback working. And Green Bay is experiencing that, that right now. They're, 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 <laughs> they're not going to make the playoffs with Aaron Rodgers. That's crazy. That's crazy. It's crazy to think. All right. Um, and this is and, 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 and the last note, that's one reason, the, uh, one of the main reasons why I'm behind Garrett now. And I'm, I'm, I'm pushing for this, this Garrett thing to work out because I don't want all those Romo years to be in vain. I want to, if, if we didn't get anything from it as far as Super Bowl or playoffs or anything like that, at least I hope that he learned in that era that he can you know do something in this area that, that he couldn't do in that area you know what i'm saying maybe it was a learning experience hopefully you know what i'm saying so i'm being as as hopeful as i can i'm with with most of you most of you guys with this with this coaching staff and and want to see something else but however the best case scenario is again again and again i say it over and over and over the best case scenario is that these guys turn it on 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 sunday um, keep it turned on for the rest of the season and learn how to to win as a as a as an entire organization from the front office to the players out there on the field. And and to me, to, to be honest, that is one of the the truest ways that winning can occur when it comes organically like that. So hopefully. <laughs> hopefully it happens. Um, but the, it, as far as particulars in this game, I think I, I, I tapped on it in my last video. The offensive line, the offensive line is going to be the key to this game more than anything else. We're supposed to control this game from the offensive line. We su we're supposed to control this game with, with Ezekiel Elliott. Um, Collins is going to have to play uh, better as far as his penalties or whatever. Uh, Tyron has had a bad back this week. Um, I think it was spasms or something. He's got to, he's got to play well. Colombo is getting, you know, He's getting great work out of, I can't say his name, Zalo, Zalo, <laughs> and Looney, but he's getting great, you know, production from this offensive line, whoever they're putting out there. So uh, they've got to, you know, turn it on versus the Atlanta Falcons and we've got to control the game from, and we can't, we cannot let that um, offense get, get, uh, get going. All right. Um. I want to have some comments from the viewers really fast. Let me see. Uh, Mr. Jake Guerra, Guerra, I hope I said it right. As he said, Shango, are you still buying merchandise? Uh, I'm, I, th this is a Christmas gift and most of my stuff are Christmas gifts. But if I, like I'm getting, I still haven't got my <laughs> Van Der Esch jersey. But I'm getting the number 55 because, you know, I'm, I'm loving the number 55. That's, that's just to show respect. Um, anything that's, that's nice or hype or whatever, I'll get it. You know, that doesn't bother me. And it's mainly for, you know, these videos. It looks nice on the videos with stuff like that. But it, if it's, it's not been very much because if you look behind me, I'll, if you look at my videos from when I moved into this man cave, I think the only thing new is that 
is that uh, the banner, just to remind me, we were good at one point, <laughs> and that's a little thing beside the refrigerator. And other than that, are th th there's things that came from the other man cave. So I really haven't bought anything, and, and the star is right there. So I really haven't bought anything to populate my man cave yet. I I'm going to do it, but there's a reason why there's not no initiative. You know what I'm saying? That there's a reason. So, uh, so yes and no. And then uh, secondly, the reason why I put it there. I haven't went to a game since um, 2013, so I haven't been to a game. So I would come off my money for a shirt before I come off of time and energy to get on a plane, to fly all the way there, to go to a game, to sit, you know, all that stuff. No, forget about it, man. I'll watch the game right here. Um, uh, Kerryon Johnson says, Shango, I think our defense first and foremost has to get to Ryan, whether it's a sack or a hit on him to get him rattled. Next thing we got to do is keep an eye on Julio wherever he lines up. I do agree our offense has to close the time of possession and minimize, uh, minimize uh, Atlanta's possession on, on offense. Exactly. Um, we have the horses to get to Ryan. And that, is a, that, that was a good point. That's why I bring it up. We have D-Law. Uh, hopefully Gregory <laughs> can start being consistent and get to the quarterback because you can, you can see flashes from that guy. Um, so we have the defensive line to put pressure on, uh, on, on Matt Ryan. I hope it happens. Next, we have uh, a, a frequent to the channel, uh, the GA Boy 17. You right, the Falcons are up and down. They went two weeks and they shut, shut down the hottest running back in Barkley and AP came out against the uh, the Browns and the, uh, took them lightly, shaking my head. This game would definitely be a toss-up. The Falcons play great run defense when they want to, when it's uh, it's all about what team shows up on Saturday. And that's what, that's what I'm kind of worried about because, again, what, what I said about the offensive line, if they stop Ezekiel Elliott, then it throws the entire thing out of, out of whack. Then you see Dak Prescott putting everything on his shoulders and he's forcing the ball into receivers or forcing the ball into spots, what he can't really do right now at, at this stage of his career. So we have, we, ha we have to get a run game going and I don't want the Falcons to have one of those hot stopping games like when they stopped Barkley and then when they stopped uh, Adrian Peterson. Good, good, good points, uh, uh, the GA boy. And the last one, um, and something that we need to remember uh, uh, Stunner Cole says, I got a feeling that Ridley going to show out since Dallas passed on us. I forgot that's probably in Ridley's mind about us passing on him. So, um, all right, there is that. All right, let, <laughs> all right, Sunday is going to be a real big streaming day. Um, I'm going to come back from church, hurry up, hit the button because we're going to hit the, uh, the, uh, our game is the early game, and then we're going to keep an eye on the, the Redskins and Texans at the same time. Then we have the Saints and the um, Eagles. I will be streaming some portion of that game, whether it's the top or the bottom. I don't know. I think it's the bottom portion. It depends on when we're going to eat dinner. And then for the night, it's going to be the first time that wifey and I will take the cameras in there and, and, uh, and not be in, the, in her man cave so she can watch her team. But we're going to be out there and wifey uh, Miss Veronica from Shinola from uh, Shameless, Shinola Hampton, will be doing a live show with me watching the Vikings play the Bears uh, on Sunday night football. So it's going to be a big day on Sunday, big day on Sunday. And I'll see you all there. Wow, I was long winded on this video. But hey, I had to bring the comments in. I wanted to bring some comments in. All right, guys, I'll let you. Peace out.